Third day is a charm. We have 11 degrees Celsius. Equals 51.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a very nice weather. The sun is even out. And my mission today is a range test. So at the moment I'm at 3.4 kilometers at the start. Even better for a skate helmet and not the snowboard helmet. And for the higher speeds I will tighten the back screw a little bit. One, two, front side also a little bit. Let's go! seven kilometers battery between 75 and 100 percent Nine kilometers, seventy five percent. So we are slowly approaching the end of this island. Again, a little kind of lake inside of the ice. The nice thing is, if you have a longboard with you, you always have a nice place to sit down. This soil and water.
No, 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 stay here. So, 15 kilometers in and after waiting here, it gives complete 75%. So after using it, it's always a little bit down, but then... Now we are at 18.36 kilometers and the Sanyo battery still half full, half to three quarters full, over 50% apparently. During riding it was just two solid lights but here as soon as you stop the board it's getting, it's getting half a light more so the voltage goes up again I guess. Crazy! Nearly 20 kilometers now. 19.4 kilometers, nearly 20, and the battery over 50%, 50 to 75. Come on, my feet start hurting. Should I take the subway, the metro? No, 25 kilometers in, 25. And still one to two LED lights. Twenty six point one kilometers and still one and a half lights. So the wheels actually don't get too hot, at least not now, when the outside temperatures are not summery. Twenty seven point five kilometers. Quite a tour. Now I felt the remote vibrate and display the battery power one or two times. But it's still going on and still no voltage sack feelable in the second gear. Sack. Still when going up there was no problem, but now we're down to one to one light. It's vibrating quite regularly if you ride it. I'm still going. Thirty kilometers. 
battery still on one point. Nearly 31 kilometers and I experience voltage sack. So I don't go upstairs anymore. So let's check again. 31.5 kilometers, still one full light. Um, a voltage sack when going up and also a little bit when going straight ahead, but it still feels good actually. <laughs> So, welcome to the end of my range test. Now it's on continuous blinking mode and I can definitely feel a lot of voltage sack. And we managed to get out 34.1 kilometers out of it. I have the feeling that now it's really bad for the battery to continue draining it and I will stop and manually push. But 34.1, for sure you can break the 35. I wonder if I can recharge it a little bit by pushing, if I keep it on. But amazing battery quality, crazy, crazy range, really. It's so much fun. So, back home, last check. So the total time was 4 hours 20 minutes. I had 1 hour 20 minutes of pause time, very lazy, and 3 hours ride enjoyment. Uh, the distance 34.6 kilometers. Calories, probably not very accurate. The max speed now was 32. I guess my average speed when I was moving was 20 to 25 kilometers per hour. And yeah. The battery after 34.6 kilometers is blinking, but the board still works with some with some voltage sack. You did a fantastic job. Ah, charge up, good old friend. So that's the tour. Down, down, down till the very end of the island in the Danube and back on the other side and up, 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 up and then here and around Alpedona.